Today, we're going to talk about reflecting you part two. Whoa. <laughs> Does it seem like I'm a little close? Maybe even up high? Hmm. Okay, well, how's this? Is that a little bit different? So what did I do? Well, I changed my body position a little bit. I went from right up close to talking to you to backing up a little bit and even shifted my shoulders. Hmm, so changing my stance, the way I stand, might be helpful. Interesting thought. So what other parts of me are important for me to consider when I am reflecting you and even expressing myself? What parts of my face and my body really have value? Huh. <laughs> Notice anything different? Yeah, a mask. It's something that a lot of us are wearing these days. So then what becomes extra important, that's right, my eyebrows and even my eyes, the way I hold my body and even how I use my arms and hands. All of these things are kind of pieces to this reflection puzzle. So let's go over and find Tifa and really have a deeper conversation on how we can put all of these pieces together. I'll see you over there. We want to come alongside someone and be catty corner to them so they can look over at us and see us. But what we really want to do is be aware there's lots to this. And so we don't want to have just the visual. We want to really try to reflect. And we want to hook together. We want these pieces to come together. So think about eyebrows. Think about eyes. Think about facial expression. And then Finally, think about you, like what you're doing with your hands, your body, what they're doing. So you're going to take whatever you started with and see if you can mold yourself, but in supportive stance so that they have a way out. You're not, you're not confronting. You're not trying to immediately get things to fit together. You're trying to figure out how are we similar? How are we different here? Oh, and once you figure it out, then come alongside and go, hmm. This is what I'm seeing or, or reflecting of you. Is that is that what you meant to show me? So with supportive stance, you said supportive stance. Mm -hmm. So is this supportive stance? What do you think? Do you feel supported? You may. How about if I do this? Maybe not. Maybe not. And so what if I'm gonna let you be front and center? Like, go ahead and do what you did, but you come in, you're seeking something from me, I would suspect. When you come in toward me, it usually means you're on a seeking mission. And so I don't want to hide from you, but I do want to give you a chance. You're looking for me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm turning so that my, in real place and time, it would be my, my left shoulder is towards you, so my right side is out here which means I'm your right side, but it also means I can use my right hand, which I'll pet you anyway, to show you things, to get you to notice me without it feeling, if I do this, what does it feel like I'm doing with my left hand here? You're kind of hiding yourself. Or if I do this with it? Oh, yeah, it's like you're grabbing or... Yeah, know. I'm having this hand over here involved when I move it around. You can still see my face, and when I'm going to reach to you, I can point to me and then point to you. And it feels a little safer. There's a little more distance. And if I reach out and do this, and I turn around, ooh. It makes me kind of want to touch it, too. Yeah. And because I've given you a space and a place to do that, or the same. All right. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. It kind of feels like we're 
on the same side or on the same team. Oh, same team. That's a good thing because that means we've shared and now we're getting connected. And so now it's not you and me, it's us. Oh, good. Okay, now we're maybe ready to move to that next level. But oh, before we go, let's go back and review how we got here. Oh, good. Good idea. Now, there were parts of the face we were going to copy. Take your fingers and see if you can figure out what was one part of the face. Ah. Mm -hmm. Forehead and eyebrows, because we can do a lot with them. Even if, okay, you can try this, even if you can't see anything else, except I have to have my eye peeking just a bit. Well, maybe I don't. Oh, you look mad or worried. Happy, excited. Ooh, eyebrow, huh, curious. Hmm. There you go. So you didn't get the feel of it. Eyebrow. Now the question is, oh yeah, can you do it back? Ooh. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you one. Good job. How about... Okay, good. Now, how about... Good. Now, did you notice how much you're using my whole face to figure out what you do with your eyebrows? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot harder if all you see is eyebrows. But what you do is you, you're able to integrate the whole face in there. That may not be the case with the other person. And the eyebrows are the thing they're noticing in that moment. And those eyebrows, we want to make sure that we're noticing the rest of them. They may not be able to notice the rest of us in a moment, but we want to notice the rest of them. So now let's focus on those eyes. Ooh, eyes are, your eyes are big. Wow. Kind of excited. Hmm, maybe curious there. Yeah, notice how one eye is more closed, the other one's more open. And notice which one you use. Your dominant one? Typically. Huh. But for some of us, we have a difference. This left one is the one where I'm actually thinking, and I don't want to look at you that much. So I've got it open so I can notice you, but I'm actually thinking. I'm not actually looking at you. It's sort of important maybe to notice that I'm not actually paying that much attention. Whereas if I get my right one, hmm. and I have to think about my right. That's not my better eye, <laughs> my dominant eye. <laughs> I've maybe ever used it. Who knows? But hmm. a little concerned. Maybe even a now you're thinking. Mm-hmm. See, but did you just get an idea or something else? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ooh, are you looking for something? Yeah, it could be a story or it could be a thing on the counter, but I'm looking for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So eyes are important. And then we have this bottom half of your face. That looks cheesy. Frustrated. Oh, are you disappointed? Oh, nice. Now, let's get down here. Oh, that um, looks disapproving. <laughs> the mom stance. Uh huh. Uh, ooh. I'm in trouble. They're just the dad stance. Oh, dad stance. Dad's cross the arms across the hips until. <laughs> I feel like I'm in trouble. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Angry. <laughs> Super excited and happy. You look concerned. Oh, sad or worried. 
Good, good, good. So the face and the body is an amazing instrument. And learning how someone else is using their instrument and sort of noticing those things. One of the things that might be hard for some folks is not to say what you think. Now we're we're doing a training session, but in real time and place, we want to show before we say. <laughs> if we think we know what they're saying with their face, if we use words and we're comfortable with words, it's really hard for us not to say what we're what we're seeing. But we want to just go give a sound if you need to give a sound. Oh, and give back that reflection. Give the reflection back, but give them a chance to look and see you in the mirror before you move forward with conversation or words or, and if they're going, oh, 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 what can you add to your reflection then? Oh, <laughs> but you don't want to go, oh, is something wrong? Because <laughs> it's like, if I knew that, I would say, oh, I can't find my underwear. You know, that's not what I did. I went, oh. Worry, Tifa, or something else. <laughs> What'd you say? You can't make the words not come out. Can you get your breath to do what my breath is doing? Now start with a thing that will almost always get a reticular activating system, a primitive part of your brain to pay attention. What will it be? Do you know what it is? Down. Christine. Oh, Tifa. Yeah. Now we're ready for the full connection. Oh, so it was only when you started breathing like I was breathing, your brain went, ooh, we're in trouble. So if you're showing me something like distress, the best way or excitement, the best way for me to tell you that I'm getting what you're saying. I think I, I think I got it. You want to do it as I think I got this. Oh, so kind of, kind of, kind of question. Oh. Ooh. Tipa, and now you're ready for the next step. But all we're trying to do in this session, we're breaking it down into baby steps, is the reflecting part. And don't jump ahead. Don't try the connection yet. You're just trying to see, did I get my reflection right? And the only thing you may want to be able to end with is the autonomic systems connect to see, am I right? Which is the name with a question. So your name with a question mark and then Pause. Mm -hmm. Because now, now you think we're moving into us. You think you've got this, you've reflected it enough, you think we're there, now you wanna find out, okay, we're here, we've, we, we, you think you're mirroring me. I did look at you when you said, keep up. And you wanna to listen to how long it takes, it may be, yeah. That gives you a sense of pace. Mm -hmm. You also know that I'm tentative. It, it's not a secure connection. It's sort of there, but not real secure. You're, you're excited. You're disappointed. Try a word, but add the motion with the word. But that's our next session. So don't get carried away. Don't move ahead. For this yeah. session, we're really working on that reflection. The first time, we really focused on expressing me, my expression. And I tried it with a variety of people, including my kids. So now we're talking about reflecting you 
I wonder if that'll work with my kids also. Well, it'll be something to go try, won't it? Express, reflect, and only then connect. So we're just practicing our little steps. Now, you may find if this works, guess where you'll head immediately to the next step, which is connect. So we're going to express, reflect, and then connect. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us spread Teach's Positive Approach message around the world. And don't forget to click the bell to get notified when new videos are posted.